Okay, I wanted to get a stack at home during a snow day today. And I wanted to show just kind of a, what I would call the uh, dirty basement bill. I have a, a tag mill here. And this is the Glock CNC BT30 headstock. And this is the Glock CNC 1200 watt motor. This is the driver for the motor right over here. And uh, these particular uh, motion devices here, well, I can't think what they're called. Oh, uh, servos. These are low voltage uh, AC servos that I have on here. And what I'm using this, as you can tell, is just a shower curtain that I use to control the chips for my uh, build here. And of course, a lot of the stuff is going to be remounted. This is just a computer case and all the guts are in there. But I've never have tried one of the DDCS. Uh, this is a version 3.0. I've always wanted to try one. So I went ahead and bought one, kind of just put it together over time and we'll go ahead and give it a try. And what we'll do it with is, this is of course a BT-30, and this particular face cutter right here, I believe this is four cutters on this one. It's bigger than I normally use. This is a 63 millimeter. The reason it's bigger than what I'd normally use is because it, it's this is right at the limits of, of being able to kind of like pass over the whole thing. And because one of these cutters can be lower than another, you wanna make sure that it comes all the way off in both directions but this is just for fun and to you know see what's going on see how it operates so what we're going to do is we're just going to take a pass the pass on this is only going to be if i recall i i think it's just going to be a millimeter i kind of don't remember now what i put in there anyway i think it's just a millimeter and uh, what i will also tell you is this pulley i'll probably need to replace it it makes a little bit of a weird noise but anyway We'll spin this up. This is going to probably be around 7,000 RPM if I, if I remember correctly. All right. I'm just going to scroll down here and then select the one I want. And we'll just push start. And it does take a little bit of a delay because normally it's just waiting for the motor to spin up. But of course, this motor is already uh, spun up and ready to go. made a mess uh, it's a nice smooth finish and this I believe this was set at a uh, thousand uh, millimeters a uh, minute on that pass now uh, one thing you may have noticed is uh, the motor when it initially came down in here it, it bogged down a little bit well normally when you do this obviously you wouldn't start with the cutter in the material but you'd start off from it but this is big enough that that's kind of at the limits of this bed. I would normally use a face um, mill that is not this big. So that way you can get start off from it and get into it. So you probably noticed when it came out of this side, it sounded uh, quite a bit different. But nice smooth finish. It's nice. So there you go. Uh, I just thought I would uh, show the... A BT-30 kind of an action on, on a dirty build on something I, I just put in together in the basement kind of thing.